I'm here. Well, I know I'm here. I'm just uh, checking if I was visible, as it were. So, yeah, I'm almost at Speaker's Corner. I was just, um, yep, I just stopped to, for reasons. And I wanted to briefly talk, before I forgot about it, about memory, really. Um, so I had communion this morning, and between then and now, um, I found that I've had uh, quite a lot of separate little moments of, you know, epiphany and realisation and understanding and stuff like that. And I can't remember them all. Like, I thought, oh, I'll talk about that. So, oh, I'll talk about that. And it may come to me, but um, something I was listening to this morning <laughs> proved to be true after I didn't uh, kind of realise it fully in that... Um, you know, the practice of here I am. The Jews would mark places where miracles happened, uh, like with cairns or you know, stones or some kind of um, hello, armor of God, some kind of marker or reference point in order that when they pass that way again or other people who knew the significance pass that way, you're right, Jordan, um, they would remember. Um, and then I forgot that bit, and then I had all these really good, um, I don't know, yeah, like different understandings Martin! of uh not of mine of biblical stuff that i've been uh, contemplating and praying about so with that said one uh i'm just checking who's in uh, this is not for the for the youth uh, the young people but a, a, a little book and a pen <laughs> is an idea and if you are you know of a younger persuasion, some sort of voice memo slash, I don't know, tap your glasses to type, whatever, whatever you kiddlywinks get up to, to remember it. So I may start keeping a, I don't know, like a prayer diary or some kind of, like how do you, um, hello Chris, if you think about it, okay, this is the question that was put to me this morning and uh, some other people can't imagine that anyone's going to say no, but you never know, so I, I wouldn't mind an answer. Um, have you ever been trepidated or afraid to pray sincerely that God's will be done, as opposed to yours, obviously? Like, do you ever get that feeling of, oh, what if I say it, and then there's uh, something happens that I don't, oh no, what if I, yeah. Do you get that too? I'm just double checking if it's only me. Right. Well... Don't let that sway your answer. But once you've said hello to each other. <laughs> Children. Just me and you, kid. Um, ah, alright then. Anyway, I'm assuming that uh, people watching now and afterwards will, will get that. And so then I was thinking... You alright, Nate? Um, I was thinking about uh, love casting out fear. <laughs> and I guess the op the posing, like the counter example, would be if there is the presence of fear, then love can't fully be in control. And obviously, I mean love to be Jesus, or God is love. So yep, yep, God, we'll go with that one. Um, so that's just something for you all to ponder because I can't remember. It sounded brilliant in my head. I've got to tell you, I'm not picking myself up. Um, it sounded really, really eloquent and. Uh, edifying and then I've just butchered it for your um, amusement and education so think on that if you're afraid you can't fully be in God's will anyway like um, so that was one of the things I was thinking of what were the others coming okay oh right yeah legalism hello Harriel um so legalistically as it were so you may feel like you may be afraid or have that feeling of oh um a because you're human and obviously you know better than anybody else uh, it, like secretly sometimes even uh god and that yeah and there um so it may be that but with legalistically like um i was thinking that it's not the laws that save or condemn us 
like that's a fact um, the Holy Spirit through Paul confirms that uh, yeah, the old uh, by making a new covenant, he renders the first one aged, and what is aged will become decrepit and and pass away for us. I mean, I don't get involved in synagogues in these discussions. Um, so that's so bearing that in mind, the law doesn't condemn us, the law doesn't uh, redeem us or enable us to atone or cover our own sins. And really, the only and it's not. Um, <laughs> I see, I, it doesn't sound brilliant when I don't make notes and then do a video at home. Okay, so it's not the law. It's not even God saying, oh, go on then. You've been a good girl today, go on, I'll let you off that one and then we'll, uh, we'll all, we'll, I'll be here again same time tomorrow. It's not that. It's not our own... <clears throat> mm, let me think now. Yeah, it's not an effort of our own will that we bring these things to pass, but we can. I mean, God's will for us is God's will for us is God's will for us. I don't know if you want me to say it again. It is what it is, as it were. He is who he is. Um, but we can hinder, like, choices. Aha! That's where I'm going with it, maybe. I don't know. Free will. I've got the free will to keep waffling, and you've got the free will to keep listening. Right, so, free will. So our choice is, like our path is set, the days of our life, oh, the days of our life hello, Jared, are known, planned out for us in the, the, the most optimum uh, fashion. And if we're suffering, it's just water this time, with an additional something. I was about to fit right to the places. Right, um, where was I going with it? Free will, choices, God's plan, the big stuff. Right, so if you're in pain or suffering, or you find yourself like in a situation where you're saying to yourself, hey, how did I get here? The answer is, <laughs> you walked yourself right in. That's always the answer. It's, never, it's not God. Like the worst, worst things can happen. When I look at the persecution stuff, and I try and put myself in the position of people who've just lost everything, or even just one thing that is of like, you know, supreme significance like their children their parents their village their homes their self-respect their virginity I don't know like whatever it is their lives do you think like oh that must be a tough one if they were to you know I, I, I often have conversations in my head with imaginary ones with it and I think if they were to ask me like what is the purpose what is how is this glorifying God how is this what God has deemed to happen because he is in he is there's no two ways about it. He is just as sovereign in Nigeria as he is, I'm going to say wherever you are, because I was about to say England, this sound is so ridiculous, what's going on in England. But yeah, he's still in charge, large and in charge, I would I would say. Um, so then you start thinking, well, why, why would he have people suffering? And I don't believe, even though Luther posited as much, I'm not as medieval as Luke. That's no reflection on him because he was a medieval person. Um, was he? Well, yeah, for part of his life. So, anywho, the suffering comes, and I don't say this about the persecution, but the suffering comes with a purpose and a greater purpose than um, than all the ones that you and I can think of because I promise, I promise, cross my heart, even though I can't take my hand out my pocket I could all right cross my heart I just did it um no I do sincerely promise that there will come a time in your life or after your life I suppose where the things that you just screwed your brain up in not thinking of the why um will just become clear like a little I don't know like I just want the worst analogy just in some beautific, you know, little pop, and then there it is, there's the answer, there's the Romans, um, 828 of it. And that sounds a bit wishy-washy, but through the suffering, through the discomfort, through the pain, through bereavement, through, you know, all sorts of what we perceive as negative emotions, either God will better equip us to serve those who are new to those feelings and so because we go through something horrific once we're out the other side and we have a 
you know, a closer relationship with God or a deeper understanding of a certain topic or a different reading of what we thought we thought about the Bible. Uh, so that's what, so, yeah, sorry, there's either that or, and or, you will become a person not only who has been through that, but has been through that and come out still saved, still unscathed, still, in fact, with a greater understanding and a greater acceptance, realisation and knowledge of God's faithfulness towards you. Um, so it doesn't mean that if things seemingly are going wrong or you're at the end of a, <laughs> not a rope, uh, a tether, I don't know, that you just find, you think, how oh, did I get here then? Like I was just strolling along, mind my own business, but, um, like where has all this nonsense come from? Um, you can rest assured, you can tell, you can tell people that Kay told you, um, that God is not only there with you, he's, he could, you know, falling on your ass. excuse my French, those French are always swearing. Anyway, you can keep falling, keep getting up again, and it seems repetitious, but no, it seems, no, thank you, darling, it seems pointless and painful, and you think, well, what? <laughs> I think, I don't know about you, I don't know why I'm talking to you. I think, what? I'll do it in that voice. Why? And I get a bit, you know, a little bit dramatic. But also, if you're not praying for the why and the how, like, <laughs> Ah, that was that was what I was uh, listening to, and it made so much sense to me that when Moses led uh, <coughs> the captives out, so there came a point where they reached the Red Sea. So they've got <coughs> their pursuers behind them, who are absolutely intent on let's just call it badness, like they're going to die, and now they come up to uh, seemingly. Um, insurmountable obstacle in the Red Sea and uh, they say you know what's the point in this we might as well have just been slaughtered over there why why are we probably their feet were in why have we come all this way to be slaughtered here because they couldn't see the path that God had set out for them but God can and does always see the path he set out for you so just because you can't see it just means nothing it's like it dents your ego a bit because you're like, but I can't see any way out of this. I can't see how I'm going to get from A to B. I can't see how I'm doing God's will. I can't see how God wants me to. You don't have to. Like, it's quite a relief. Um, if you remind yourself, I don't know, in my case, 24 times a day, on the hour, every hour. Um, so, yeah, they were all convinced that God had led them out into an immovable, insurmountable barrier to his uh, plan for them and obviously he's not like that because I, I can't even say the words because it's a bit ridiculous to even think them to, to denounce them as the wrong ideas he is uh, like, you know Allah's a plotter and a planner and a schemer type thing you know that I know that we all know that everyone I mean everyone Muslims included so Yahweh plans but he wants us to know not too much like I was watching something about um, hurricanes, I'm going to go this way so it takes me a while um, I was watching something, was it hurricanes? the twisty cyclones? no, what do you call them? Wizard of Oz things, twirly whirly on the shizzle tornadoes, tornadoes no, I don't know, yeah those not hurricanes, tornadoes, yep <laughs> I was, I was engrossed, as you can tell, just not in the title uh, sequence. Anyway, I was watching a thing about twisters, hey, yesterday. And, you know, they were, it, it, some of it was, it was unbelievable. Like the security footage, as it were, of, um, like America is the, has, I mean, Canada, I think it said has 100 a year. But America has 1,200 a year and more than all of the other countries that like put together. They've just got optimum conditions. So as I was watching it, I was thinking of the, uh, the pilgrims and stuff, thinking like, they could be forgiven for thinking, oh, chisel. I don't know. They, they didn't speak like that for sure. But they could, like, you know, a, a land that had so much promise 
it then becomes like a total devastation. And the, the other thing, the storm chasers, you don't know which way it's going to go. Like there, there's some really experienced, um, you know, people who like to drive around looking at stuff and risking their lives and all that. Um, but there's footage of like, they're, they're just watching it casually because they assume, because they can see it and it's moving slightly one way. I will get over to the the mob in a minute. Yeah, they assume they know which way it's going. And that's what I, that's the point I was making that I've just done a roundabout, reminded myself what I was talking about, is that God only needs us to know the next step, as it were. He doesn't need us to see the end uh, plan. He doesn't He doesn't need anything. But we also don't need to see because, yes, okay, thank you. Right, because they did studies and they showed that if they give people too much of a warning, that a tornado is coming it is counterproductive more people die there's more uh you know people start to like the fear factor is is what does it and people i like there was one where everybody just upped and tried to leave so there was obviously tailbacks and that caused you know untold more rather than just going and getting in the bathtub or in the cellar or whatever you're supposed to do they all because they had too much time on their hands they got scared they decided they knew best and they tried to uh, run when they ought not to have. So back, seeing as how that's an analogy. Also, you can have too little time, obviously. We've all got too little time, to be frank. I don't want to be frank. I'll just stick with being cake. But to be honest, um, even though God has deemed it adequate, I don't mean, yeah. It's very little time we have, any of us. And that's people who are going to die tomorrow. And that's people who are going to live another, you know, decades so we only need to know where we are right now and the only way to know where we are right now I mean I know where I am because I'm in the corner but the only way to spiritually know where we are is to anchor ourselves in the God's will thing he made us with a brain for a reason like he could you know like the free will thing and the you know oh what if they eat from the tree of life but always we had the ability to reason because we're in his image I very much doubt, and I'm not talking about Jesus, I'm talking about Yahweh, that anyone, like, there's no in his image as in, I look just like him. It's just not a thing. Like, it's the fact that we are pluralistic, like we have uh, various um, equally important, as it were, elements to us individually. We're all unique. We all have the, the power of logic, even though you would be forgiven for imagining that not many people do, if you just look around. Um, so yeah, we just need to know where we are and where we are has to be trusting and a bit of a dichotomy now I think of it thinking e.g. reasoning but not thinking too much in that we paralyse ourselves with fear and then the more fear the less love is able you know I mean love casts out fear but only if you're in contact with the love and you only if you get out of your own way and ask ha <laughs> ha you can sit and think, why doesn't God help me? Why doesn't he? Hey, hello, one of them. But if you're not asking for help, gentlemen, as looking at you people, like, you know, men are notoriously averse to asking for directions, even when they're patently lost, you know? So, I mean, oh, yeah, women are lovely, obviously, sugar and spice and all things nice, etc. <laughs> But yeah, so the point is you have to ask for the help, you have to listen for the help, you have to be in the place where God can use you to nullify your own efforts at utilising yourself to solve your own problems, which aren't a problem because God has deemed that as your lot for now. hope that helps. So now I'm... Oh, I just seem to have... I can't say His Majesty, I just said it. Obviously, I'm able to say the words, but it just... Anyway, there's some uh, constabulary. There's a couple of Union Jacks about. Well, no, I'm telling fibs. There's one Union flag, and then there's a St. George's flag over there, and it says, Jesus Christ is our God. Oh, I like that. Um, all right. Where are we? I mean, I know where we are. I can't see you. I'm so sorry. I see that I saw Bill go by. Uh, well, I saw Dick Dastardly, to be fair. It's not exclusively Bill, but I'm guessing it's Bill. Let's see if I can find someone I know. 
just for fun. I mean, I know all of you. Obs. I've got to keep an eye on my battery as well because, yeah, because my little portable charger, this is oversharing. The wire just doesn't want to know it. The wire works at home. It just doesn't want to know the charging thing. I'm ready. You prayed, and here I am. It's JC. Are you sitting up for me? I know, hold on a minute. Whoa, excuse me, I was in the queue here. <laughs> yeah, I just want to bring some. How are you? I'm there, he's only been ladies first. All right, now he's done the ladies, now me, darling. Who's for you? How are you? All right, Bob. Um, just walked I'm in, so I'm obviously a bit enthusiastic, but that will wait. Okay, give it a minute and a half. Indeed. I'm assuming now that you're going to be in this space. Uh, I'm not going to be in Ooh. this space. Oh, no, you're going to make him move. I am going to make him move. You <laughs> sausage. I'm not, I'm not to the, to the, to the large and peaceful masses. No, I'm not having my back like that. That's just, that's just asking for trouble. Well, yeah. But saying that, the fence is still <laughs> got to it, it, as we discussed here. Not true. No, no. You've got, you've got to have a rain filter. Be that deep, yeah, well, some of them are. Well, I think, yeah. JC, are we ready to go? <laughs> Excuse me, Mark. People. How many cameras you got? <laughs> Where's Rev 22? He's, he's got, he's got, he's got, we're ready to go. Hey, How many cameras? Got, uh, How many cameras? Three. Boom! Bit of a trilogy and a trinity of cameras. Go on, what? What now? It, yeah, okay, you're, you're like, you're like, yeah. oh, it's just about to get the non-gossip because we don't gossip. It's open private. Yeah, no, privately. How crazy is this? Yeah. Don't call me this, but very. <laughs> There's some yeah, of an Arsenal okay. shirt on, so I've ignored all the possible. You're right, babe. Yeah, I just, uh, I just thought, yeah, I go. Right, let me let me actually get these bins off and put the other bins on because. Uh, because um, hey, I was talking to you on WhatsApp the other day. I'm going to tell you about my girlfriend. Do you know, for some reason, yeah. I knew your face, even though your face ain't on the pic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise you, yeah, I thought yeah. I know him, but okay. I didn't. I felt yeah, like, yeah. 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 No, I, mean, I was really. Up, I told my friend about that message. Yeah. I was like, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. someone's yeah. noticed. I talked to you, like, and I've been watching YouTube, and I've come here, and he's not here. And I'm like, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. And obviously, when you see the video, you don't know they're three years old. Or yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, oh yeah. It's when I look more relaxed. That's when you know it's far off. <laughs> on, yeah. on the outside. And I was saying, I'm literally, what was I was saying, how crazy is this? Because about two minutes ago, I was saying, we we'll never get women here like um, Kay and Hartoon again. Like that ever gone. And then literally, as I say that. And I was just talking no, about God's plan, I promise yeah. you. Yeah. I just came around that whole thing of just being where you have to be, yeah. and you don't need to know the next bit, and you just need to be where you're meant to be. Exactly. And then people so, say, God's not going to look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, people yeah. say a load of old yeah. shizzle. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's good to finally meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. say you know. But um, you're, you're definitely coming for a drink. I won't take no for an answer. Yeah, so, I mean, cups of tea are a thing. Just ask Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> did I make that face? He's <laughs> having photos done, people. I've got to. It's a celebrity. We were getting on so well. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, oh. It's nice to meet you. Are you all right? Sorry, I'm just casting aspersions on her. Oh, my goodness. Let me get a. Can I get an autograph? Sorry. <laughs> I was talking to that boy. No. Right now I can't. Sorry, there's people talking to me and I can't read properly. Right, I will catch up. I'll catch up with you and find out your actual name instead of your what's that name. Right, let's have a butcher's butcher's look. Rhymes with look. Uh, okay. What I've got to go back there, Bill. Bill, I promise I'll do it in a minute. No, let's do it now. Let's just be decisive. What's it like to be on the payroll, JC? Anyway, Jay, villainous, said to tell you, like, you, uh, do you know? Because I'm still waiting on my Zionist check. Um, yes, Jay, villainous, said hello. And I was going to. Villainous? Villainous, you know him. It's the little. Ah, villainous. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Villainous? Yeah. He said, you could hear him, didn't he? He said, yay! In the sound. Thank you for the support, he said. Right. Right. Who else can we annoy a minute? Yeah, Bob was having photos to the people. I'm going to, I'm going to have to now come very much more regularly because we can't have that. I just can't have that, people. I'm going to have to consult Paul in the Bible. Double check. 
Bless you. Just in general anyway. <laughs> you alright, Christopher? Uh, oh, I'm trying to look look around with me, with me reading bins on and wondering why everything's blurry. Who's that? Oh. Someone's shouting, do you contend having sexual relations with children? Do you know, strangely, even though we heard a load of black cat calling, the whole crowd didn't erupt with, of course we do. Weird. Um, who else is over there? Sorry, I mean, you can have a look as well. I've got a feeling the fella might be a Muslim. He might be one of them Quran only. I don't know, the geezer is shouting that or questioning vociferously. It's got a big beard. That makes me think that he's got a big beard. So yes. Right. Let's, let's keep strolling a minute. I wish I'd have sat down there. It's very warm over there. See the floor? Warm. And I want to. Now I'm here. Not this minute, obviously, because I love you people muchly. I want to do a persecution video before more bobs show up and chain themselves like suffragettes to JC's cameras. So, pick a topic, any topic, and I'll just have a little waffle a minute. Well, no, I'll give you some. Oh, that's a good topic, oh my god. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about... I mean, I'm pretty... I'm pretty displeased with the mainstream media. I mean, it wasn't you. But it's either incredibly lazy, if we're being, like, charitable, or if we're being more realistic, it's like a... It's a smear campaign which has managed to label anyone who disagrees broadly because I don't see that anybody has really interviewed any protesters. Um, no sort of, uh, you know, like organisation and said to them, hey, what's your, uh, what's your beef, bro? Like what you're all here for. In fact, I heard this morning on the radio there are counter protesters and I thought, I've lost my mind. Like, what do you mean? There's people protesting that people are protesting. Fair enough, if there's disinformation, if there's misinformation, I mean, what is new at this stage? And how come it's only, like, just basically brand everyone far right, that will help. Also, if you say everyone's literally Hitler, clearly that's beneficial. What else? Oh, pedo, that's a good one to uh, just chuck around indiscriminately. Don't worry about the actual victims of paedophilia or even literally Hitler. I mean, his name is getting invoked at an alarming rate. <laughs> like, um... Yeah, he's being kept in people's minds, strangely, by uh, people who pretend not to be exactly like him in terms of book burning and getting rid of ideas and removing books from schools and libraries if they're not diverse enough. And when I tell you, I don't want to misspeak and say the wrong title, but when I tell you they are, there are some classics, not, I don't mean like Janet and John Go Fishing or anything like that, I mean classic, not C.S. Lewis, I don't think yet. I might be wrong. I don't want to give them ideas. Um, but yeah, like, like, like the, the the 18th century poets and stuff like that. And you're just like, it's like I saw a sign yesterday for a business. So I'm not going to advertise them because, quite frankly, I cannot remember the name anyway. But it said along the lines of yada yada, we're all hip and happening, yo. We are timeless. It said at the top. And they were, they were, you know, we don't go with fads or this, that. And then at the bottom it said we are culturally relevant. And I thought, how can those two things... You can't, you can't be timeless and culturally relevant. Because obviously culture changes, fueled somewhat by the doctrines that are put into children through education. So what is OK in Victorian England is not OK now. What is OK now would be unheard, like... Pop's got him at it. And I've been reading a brilliant book. Far out. I must have missed a hot minute for this. Jeez, I'll be able to hear for me. Right, so yeah, where was I going with this? Yes, I've been reading a brilliant book about the 
history of um, the East End of London, which is where a lot of my ancestors came and a lot of them were already there. And when you read about the condition, the human, no, not the human condition, the, the physical conditions and the inhumanisation, systematic inhumanisation of the people, we always had immigrants in the East End. There were flare-ups, there were um, smear campaigns, there were times when all the Jews were blamed for this and all the French were blamed for that. Oh, we're back, people. However, what there wasn't in, uh, say, Jack the Ripper, and prior to that, the 1617 and 1800s, there wasn't a mass propaganda machine bent on... And now it's like on pain of cancelling, forcing you into thinking in a certain way. There were no thought crimes at all then. I mean, the, the, even the regular crimes were, they were different, but they were very severely punished. I don't say that, I think that hanging is not much of a deterrent for the person who's just been hanged. I mean, yes, they're not going to do it again, but you haven't changed their heart and mind. I've veered way off because this, someone is really shouting at that preacher. Sorry, if you just lip read what I just said. Oh, shall I get involved? Right, let's just read your... So let me come and talk to you people, because you're the most sensible people here. Strange, actually. It's because he's got a Star of David on the back of a Union flag. Well, it's not that. It's because demons manifest when they hear the Word of God. Right, what are you saying, Bill? Oh, sorry, you're questioning each other like you're talking to Jurad. Let me guess. <laughs> no, we can't be Jurad. We cannot be. It's impossible. And if that's the case, it means that London is in trouble, bro. Or they're just having something dinner. <laughs> and maybe they'll watch later. You sure about that, Jurad? I hope Jesus is your Messiah because it's. Yeah, I've heard you say stuff before and it's call me a Londoner but I have reservations sometimes because then I hear your other answers and I think uh, you know what I mean I really hope it's true and I hope by Messiah you mean God like Lord and Saviour Lord meaning God God the Redeemer etc so I hope so I pray so actually and in fact I think we're going to have a little prayer in a minute not just Jurad related at all, just in case he got, you know, or was named. But, yeah, I don't think there's enough of it. I, I was listening to some prayers this morning and I felt really quite uplifted, even though I don't think it was the words. The man wasn't particularly eloquent. It was just nice to be a part of a real-time group email up to up to God if you know what I mean a C-mail a Christian mail oh, oh I'm on fire people but I'm not I'm just hot I just want to find out oh he's up for a rad he's a lot I like him this one up the ladder the last thing I had was he was a mass murderer and he was a Muslim wow hey, you can't say that kind of shizzle Oh yeah, back at the ranch, they've just labelled everyone who's got a problem with children being stabbed, and I mean five, six little tipsy children being stabbed. Like now, there's counter-terrorism measures. They're going to be prescribed the EDF. There's going to be facial recognition, invasion of um, rights and privacy, similar to like in magnitude to post 9/11, with people similarly to Americans falling for the restriction of their own freedoms uh, because they've been manipulated to think that anyone who's got a problem is surely either Satan or Hitler, uh, just floating about, you know, causing trouble. Because this, there are other articles or other things that I've read where people are saying, oh, but they said everyone just came here and started right, but I know that guy's really lived down the road. Oh, he's a bit of a laugh, but ooh. you know, that kind of jazz. And I don't know how you know somebody's far right, because I don't even know what far right is, really. I mean, I know it's the, to the right of right, but... Like, you know, very Christian is is is, is on the same plane as Christian, isn't it? Like, I don't know how it cannot be Hitlerish because Hitler was, of course, a national socialist, and everyone forgets the socialist bit when they're, you know, branding anyone with. Listen, people, 
I don't want to get too political, but basically nowadays, if you're to the right of Chairman Mao, <laughs> you are literally Hitler. So you heard it at first, and it's a shame. I mean, I also am literally Hitler. What I used to deem as left wing in this country, they were great men, like they were. They weren't it really of my era, although one like hung around in Parliament, and he was a he had intellect, he had wit, he had the sensible ideas, you know, crazy shizzle. He actually stood for the values that the party was created for, no problem. If they were all like him, boom, I'd be voting for whoever who was full up of him. However, you, if, you, if anyone's got time, uh, have a little look at, at um, like sound bites. Maybe I'll try and find a link to the original Marxism, the class war, class struggle, and then look at cultural Marxism. You just replace when you're as you're reading it. Just replace uh, class with gender, or class with race, or class with gender. I apologise for that language. I do mean the word Palestine. Don't, no, 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 Never? Where you been, babe? Have you seen Muslims behaving like that? You're kids. Hang on, have you seen who have, have you seen other people behaving like that? No. Oh, you've been locked up in a monastery all your life. Oh, welcome out. <laughs> welcome. He's never seen it in his life. Well, I just can't imagine, like, you know, like me and the, my son and the, his friend behaving next to me. Like, I just cannot. That, that's... But the, the, this is, for better or worse, it's like an open air asylum and not many medication. Like, you know, like, it's just. It, it, because people can say what they want, they do say what they want. And they, there's no compulsion, you don't have to say stuff, but because it's warm, even though most of these people claim to be part of an Arab related stuff, they can't handle the heat. They get very like, ah, and a bit stabbing sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah. No, no, actually, I saw the video where, because mind you, I'm only just thinking about it. I did see the video where I can touch that stab. By That's these, what I'm saying, a bit stabby. By, by, by these savages. By these largely peaceful people, you mean? Largely the, peaceful the, religion. The, the religion of peace. Yeah. I'm an ex-Muslim, so I know all of that. Yeah. I, I, I've got a bit of an idea. They're Buddhists. They're all over the place causing jihad. They're just... It's never a Muslim. But they... The, the people, like... They're used to it. They're so... They're, they're ready. They've got Jesus, so... Right. Well, sorry, I'm in the middle of... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to respond. No, you're not in the thingy. God bless you. It's just that I have to respond because otherwise I look like I'm being rude. Robert De Niro, I was very saddened by your comments about Trump punching him on the nose. I've stopped watching your films. Do we play? And I, I very much enjoyed The Awakening. It's one of my favourite films. But if that's not you, Bob, it's just someone with the same name then. All right, mate? Even if it is Robert De Niro, you know. As long as you're not talking Italian. Do you want to have a look? You might as well, because I'm just walking. See, that Palestinian flag looks like it's going to be used as a toll. People never take their own advice. I don't know how that works as a mating call, that screechy noise. Fueled by their own stupidity. That's what I should do, voiceovers. Did you know that the psychology of groups 
implicitly means that the sum of the individual intelligences, as it were, intelligence, is <laughs> less than it. if you added it all up, you get less when there is a group. Losing it, they never had it. Oh my god, they've been educated by some. Oh. They haven't had the Holy Spirit give them a little kick up the jacksey. Lukewarm is putting him up. Robert, De Niro, I, I'm not going to mention, say who I'm targeting at, but you know there's a, a type of people that if they were to tread in dog shit, excuse my French, their IQ would go up. You know what I mean? <sighs> but only while they were standing in it. <laughs> Yeah, the French. They, they keep influencing me to, to use naughty words. <laughs> He's shouting, if you're not a Muslim, you're a Buddhist. I bet he just said we're peaceful. <laughs> oh, well, don't be silly, babes. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, I'll tell you where they are. Do you remember I passed... I passed two of them way back there where there's no people. It's making out to be busy. Uh, let's have a let's see if they're still there. Yep, <laughs> they're still there. All the <laughs> right, that's all the that's all the people that are away. Yeah, and then I'm just going to walk over the cycle path and show you where the old bill are. One minute. I don't. I can't see what you can see at the moment, but you see right there. That way, two of them leaning against the. Fence, studiously avoiding looking that way. They've got ear rolls. Nah. Wouldn't want to catch anyone doing anything. Remember when Bob tried to force one of them to arrest it or to question the geezer who'd kicked him? <laughs> and he just was that invited. Whoa. I forgot phoning you, but my life is just. You know. Um, yeah, just. Muslims that? Muslim? <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. I'm live streaming so I won't be giving you any information. Yes. But yeah, where you been? Where you been? Good, good. I've been thinking that I'm always, I won't send them to you, I'll send them to God and he can redirect the mail. Sweet. He's alright. But still, direct, send me your praises. Yeah. Then again, you do say to people, send in, send in my love, send in praise. Your way, I suppose. Sorry, I'm just daydreaming for a hot second. I want to eat something. Do you, do you, could you suffer me eating something? Uh, oh, should I do the first excuse? Oh, right. We're not going to talk about killing birds. <laughs> not in the in the standstill, because they're they're just determined to run me over with a bicycle. They usually write that on the incline, which makes me laugh. Do you want right? Let's have a let, let's just do an audience poll. Do you want me to go and stand near them tards? I don't mind, but I may have to get involved eventually. But do you want to see what's going over there? Going on over there, even. I don't know what's going on. He don't look like he washes. I don't really want to fight. Or, no, Bob, you can't. I can't. I just couldn't do it if I wanted to because it would mean someone else with a cap. No, I can't. Sorry. So there's only one option, really. There's two options. I'll go to the supermarket and get something to eat. And we have a chat where I can actually see your comments. Or, for a hot minute, I'll join the Tards in Tards Corner, Tard Central. Let me, let me find out what the answer is. Because otherwise it seems like I'm just making a mockery of democracy. Hold up. Uh, right, that's one. Jay, I've got your views on the matter. I can't read any others. It's the background. Let me... Right, if you type something, then I'll know. While well, I still look. I'll come in and let's just do it. That's one, one vote, and we're in. Similar to the local elections where I live. Oh, duck. No, that's me again. Why? Why don't you talk about this? Why don't you talk about this? Israel is a nation. 
socialist atheist is showing. Remember your faith. Don't come down to their level. It's not into Muslims. Why have I got a, there's a filter on this somehow. No, my baby. I just look like I had lips in no, I still do. Is it a lot? I haven't got lips. I've, I mean I've got lips. I just haven't got lips still. Yeah, technology is going. Are they still going? Oh, the horses. Hang on. Oh, sorry. Nine year old girl was attacked by a dirty old man 
Most of us do not remember, do not which she should have been playing with her really toys. Raise your religion. How loud and noisious. Do not I just got to come near the micro. Don't descend to the lowest level. What if you're on the lowest level? You can't really descend to something where you're already there. Chris, amen. Oh. Shall I just start shouting random stuff to inflame? He's saying words that are supposedly can't be, but what he's doing is inflaming. Yes, Brooks, I believe, are literally. I'm convinced they just uh, paint the moustaches on with mascara. Here we go. Another scholar. It's the high level of academia that really does impress me. You can only mock. You know why we can't Did you hear what that boy just said? Did you see what that one just said there with a the white t-shirt? He said, you know why we're mocking you? It's because you're English. What a charmer. Here, if you share it, By the truth, the Christian idea. Oh, another scholar behind me there. Why does it bother you? If you don't believe it, why does it bother you? No answer. No answer. People don't get bothered by nonsense. Thank you and God bless you. People don't get bothered by nonsense. They get bothered by the truth. When there's, you know, like I say, when there's stupid political parties, Monster Avian Looney, and they're telling me a load of old shiz, I don't care. It doesn't make me angry, I just laugh at them. How many years have you got? How old are you? Okay, so when you approach you someone, you know, does, that, does that method get you places in life? Oh, uh, later on in the afternoon, like, this is live, so then it gets watched on. But like, anyone's faces are on it. But I'm, I'm sure everyone's mums are really proud of them because it's. It's the high academia. It's the scholarly imam that craft that I like. It's the shout out, fuck off. It doesn't really. It doesn't benefit anyone. It doesn't make anyone think, you know, I'm going to take this a harder. It's a good piece for you. It'll be handy because we've got enough to be annoyed about everywhere else. We've got a lot. And the thing is, they're very young. I'm not, yeah, I am being youngest. Yeah. Some of them, um, I think they paint on the moustache or the mascara, so like, and they're shouting at older people. I just don't think their granddads would be happy. Maybe they would. Uh, maybe they I don't know. It doesn't seem very like civilized, or, you know. But that's just my opinion. God bless you. All right, Isha, up when I ask you about Christmas. Oh, oh, I do. I'm good. That's, that's why they love me so much. Someone was wafting that flag over my head, but I, uh, I resisted the temptation to rip it out of their hands and shove it up the street. If only there were more Palestinian flags, the whole political situation in the, in the East would be sorted. Do you not agree? No? Oh. Still, two policemen seems adequate. Whilst we're all, uh, you know, getting counter extremist measures ready to infringe on people. All right, sorry. Um, yeah, seems seems remarkably adequate in this belting pot. Here's an elbow a minute, and I'll talk to you in a bit, Sam. Rather warm, just in case nobody's mentioned. Who else can I shout at? Are all over there? I, did, I haven't shouted at anyone. Oh, I've shouted at a group. That's all right. 
I was just trying to make myself work, darling. No aggression over here. No, that's not correct. Jewish it, <laughs> Judaism is not a race, it's just a religion. If only I had copies of the Old Testament on me. It's a bloodline, by the way, and a religion. It's two separate things. I mean, obviously, one is of the tribes and one is of the teachings, but God doesn't often pause while he's chatting and say, oh yeah, I don't mean it. He doesn't ever say it. But I've come all the way over here and now they're screeching again. I think they just love, I just think they want me there. But that's my, uh, my unique take on it. Oh, Bob. I'm sure it's fascinating. Sorry, I don't mean to discourage Bob. It's only because we're friends. That's literally it. I, I, uh, I'm up all my friends and tease them. That's how they know I love them. Real life story. If I'm not teasing them, I don't like them. Uh, oh, no, that's not true. I mean, just not overly fond. I'll rate that guy. He's like, right, let's see what he's giving me. Please let him be a normal Christian. Please. Right, we're starting off well. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Love it. Facts. Four steps to heaven. Oh, I'm getting scared now. One, one way to hell. Okay. Then we've got a nice little bit of Romans, where Jesus in his death, but the gift of God is sent. Hey, sorry, his eternal life. No glasses and making up the Bible that I already know. In Christ Jesus our Lord. See, I'm getting rounds of applause. Okay, so the four steps are... Oh, well, they, they've got verses with them, so... Uh, oh, my phone's ringing. Nope. The four steps are... Whilst I just ignore that person trying to call me. Is... Listen, it's step number one. Can you have the scales removed from your ears? Well, I mean, there's a Bible verse there, which I haven't read yet, so... Like, I, I have read in the past, but I can't recall it. Step two, believe. Step three, repent. Step four, receive. Hmm. It must be the little debater in me. Right, let's get on to pace, so. Anyway, no, let's cut to the back and see what church is, and then I can be judgmental. No, I'm joking. Stick the eyebrows down again. See, I can't tell. I can't tell, but it's a, it's a, it's an, it's an, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to look at that in a bit more detail later because it's not a church per se because it's got a one person's name and a phone number and an email. But the, yeah. But still, he's got balls, the boy. I mean, I assume I don't want to misgender any men. Silliness. Oh, and I was thinking, totally unrelated. Maybe it was the mention of balls. I don't know. I've been getting a lot because of all the visit. Well, I always liked history. Is that true? No, not while I was in history lessons. I tended not to because they they just chose periods of history that didn't really capture my imagination. Since I went to the tower repeatedly, and I shall go back, fear not, or just fear not in general. Um, yeah, I got back into medievalness in a big way. Mediaviality? I don't know, I just make it up now. Yeah, a thousand years of history. I just like that bit. Then, I, then um, obviously, not obviously, people who don't know, that's a simple thing to say. Anglo Saxons, the land of the Angles, England, you know. There's a university that for some time before I even realised as well have been teaching that there is no such thing as the Anglo-Saxon people. All part of some design, I'm confident. Oh, in, in, you know, the... Uh... See, this is the thing. White supremacy gets called out. Someone in the Olympics, not that I could be bothered to read the article, believe me. I'm averse to reading the articles, but I read the headline. Because that's all... It's only an opinion piece anyway. But yeah, someone made a, an alleged white supremacy sign and got chucked out, asked to leave, held it with eggs. I don't know, called it lucky. Back at the ranch, when I read that, I thought, 
it's this logic thing. It really holds me back in these progressive times. I thought, how come it's okay? Nay, not even okay. It's pro. It's like a. It's correct, as it were, in the nonsense BS uh, version of it that we live in, to say that white straight men, so white. Um, it, they're, they're the cause of all evil and suffering and uh, patriarchy and uh, oppression and I don't know, you know, brain, global nonsense and all that. It's all down to white men, apparently. Um, yeah, I think I'm right in saying that. Um, oh, and Christians, obviously. Um, but yeah, but somebody making a sign that somebody else has decided, because I, I uh, know sign language, I don't know if you, I only made a couple of videos in um, British Sign Language, but yeah, that, that hand gesture is not only universal to people who use sign language, it's also a sign that people use, like hearing people use indiscriminately prior to a few years ago when there was an American, uh, you know, art course in court, there was a couple of people just maybe accidentally, maybe intentionally, just because some other twat, excuse me, just because some America uses a sign, even if they intend it to be white supremacy, what does that mean? I have to take my fingers together in case I accidentally, like, what I'm trying to say is shut up, all of them. Like, it's just silliness. So, yeah, white supremacy, boo, but white people, like white men being the cause of all evil, obviously. It's just the hypocrisy. It's not only the hypocrisy, obviously, but that is the first hurdle to, like, accepting any of this shizzle. And I do mean the shizzle of the male cow variety. Geezer with a suitcase and a few beef burgers in, a few, McDo a few Big Macs in. Not that I am sizest, but some people ought not to be so animated when they clearly can't, you know, they can walk to the fridge. Should be jogging around the park as opposed to just screaming in someone's face just for the, because he's got tassels on his trousers, literally. I don't mean like banana armor tassels, I mean, you know, Jewish ones. It's probably a name for them, but I like to call them tassels because they're tassels. I know, I'm cursed with this, call it, what, call it like it is, mentality. What's Bob going on with that? Oh, I can't, and I still can't. Like, you alright? No, no, not me, Bob. But I want JC in his camera. Because I want to talk about persecution, that's what I want to talk about. Aha, we're back in the room. Just because I'm not telling you about it, I know this is going to go crazy to some of you. Not you who are here with me now. The imaginary, less than, uh, you know, intelligent person later. I know there's no unintelligent people who watch this channel because it shows their intelligence that they've clicked on it. Back of the ranch. I must have an anti-waffle alert. I'm not offering out a position, by the way. Yeah. Sorry, I make myself. Oh, I've talked myself around into getting what I'm talking about. What was I talking about? Does anybody know? And I won't blame you if you don't. Persecution. That was that was real. No, that is real. Just because I'm not telling you, thank you, Kay. Doesn't mean it's not happening. Obviously, it's daily, hourly. Nigeria is still, even though it's nowhere near. In, I mean, it is near the top, but in the top ten, it's not. It's not near number one. It never ha really has been. In terms of death, by Jesus, not by Jesus as in he's the uh, uh, architect, but death due to Jesus, it is number one. But because they take in uh, five different factors, it's, it was number seven. To be honest, and it, I'm remiss in that I haven't gone through, I haven't even got through Persecutor of the Year. I mean, I have personally, but I didn't make the video that I intended because of... Oh, isn't it boring? It'll help. Yada, yada. Personal, emotional nonsense zones. So, yes, it's still happening. Yeah, I'm so glad I got to the point. It's not only happening, it's... Um, like, you know when you think to yourself, God is more real than real. He is the conduit by which reality becomes reality. The closer you are to God, the more real... And the further away, the less real, like in terms of Satan can talk the shizzle, that's not real. I mean, it's it's true that he's saying it, but it's not a real representation. Rep right, here we go. 
Here's some philosophy for you people. Are you ready? Truth, philosophically speaking. Philosophically speaking, for a start, truth claims can only be made within the discipline of philosophy. When science says this is true, it can't say that. It, science can't even say that science is true because that's a philosophical claim. It's not replicable in a laboratory and therefore it's not in the realm of science to deem or otherwise the truth of something. But if you can imagine, like so... Rate me on the Jews, Bob. Why do you worship Jews? He doesn't worship Jews, but you're hilarious. He does worship Jews. No, he doesn't. He does. I know him very well, he doesn't. So just because you say it multiple times, does it make it true? That he defends the state of Israel, doesn't he? What does that... Worship? No, but he defends... So you, what, how do you define the word worship? Uh, a refusal to criticise the Jews. No, that's not worship. That's not what... Of course it isn't. Did Jesus Christ criticise the Jews? Yes. Yeah, so why is it now... Hang on a minute. So your counter-example is still literally illogical. Just because Jesus criticised the Sanhedrin for their religious practices and their failure to observe the reality of God, it doesn't make hold your horses. That's not him not worshipping them. He was still full-time. Look at the geese's face. I just love how offended Zionists are by Do me. ya? I don't think it's the mind virus. They Who said I'm Zionist? I know, Bob, I'm just offended no, by no, idiots. No, the, the point... Oh, no, can I sorry. Talk you can, can talk, talk to me. Because you're being quite rude now. And we're yeah, so are you. You were no, just heckling and talking nonsense. No, you will be excused. I didn't say you were escalating, so why are you saying it as if you're pet and what we're both Christians yes I don't know I've never met you before should we assume we both are no because it says in the bible it says in the bible I this case is are you the bible says don't assume don't ask even in your heart who look at the man's face when I'm quoting the bible but I'm meant to be anyway the bible says don't ask even in your heart who will be saved because by right. doing so you bring Christ out are you interested in the bible at all well are you actually a Christian or was it just a talking sake my interpretation no I right. want to know are you a Christian that's why I asked I'm crazily old fashioned like that the reason I am a Christian Here we go. Is, oh, because is a Christian. it's the only explanation for why the Jews are doing what they're doing right now because they rejected Jesus Christ and now they think they have the moral right, right to kill all their neighbours when sure. Jesus in said Stanford love Hill. In Stanford Hill? In in London? No, oh, you said all Jews. No, I oh, so now it's You heard did. that. It's on... It's Go camera. back and watch it. I can't, it's I live. I said the Jews. You just said I said all the Jews. The Jews? Who, what, so you're saying the Jews and there's some other Jews that aren't the Jews? I'm saying everyone in Israel killing Palestinians. No, you didn't actually say that. I, you, I said you the didn't. Jews and you read it as all Jews. But there are Muslims. You do that, darling. Well, and, you think and the mix Muslims it with are the ones killing no, no. the Palestinians? Did I say that? Uh, uh, the word. I love Christian signage. I love people who assume they know what other people are saying when they don't even know what they're saying. I do love them because I'm commanded to. Because I'm not a Christian just so that I can hate an entire group of people. But good luck to you. You're up and you've got my virus and you worship Jews. Uh huh. Okay, Professor. Thank you for your input. No, I'm having a go at you because you're a twat. Right, now that's sorted. What a. He's a Christian so that he can blame all Jews for the something something. Why don't he just blame all Jews? What's he got to get Jesus involved for? What a... Hi. Just out here calling people twats for Jesus. Uh, and he didn't look like he could, you know, how to brush his hair or have a... Uh, oh, that's got me a little bit irritated. Look at me defending Bob when I'm normally the one heckling him. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? I can heckle my friends, but no one else can. Oh, so readily the word twat just springs to my lips when there's one in front of me. And before anyone starts telling me about your words, or, uh, you know, that those verses, they are true. I'd like to take you back, picture the scene. The East End, the docks were, I think one in six men in the entire East End worked in the docks, the British Empire. I know we shouldn't talk about it. East India Company, you might have heard of them. Big in the game. We're not talking about their ethics, we're talking about their money and their influence and their ability to employ vast waves of the East End. Either way, colourful language, let's say it that way, was already a part of a life that was very brutal and short and filled with, for example, Bernardo, whatever you think of him, 
Dr. Bernardo's children's homes. Um, it started, he was a missionary and he wanted to go to Tanzania, I think UK. He wanted to go to Tanzania uh, to be a bit, you know, missionary. And he stopped off in the East End or he came to the East End, which was brave in those days. Because um, when Jack London, the American writer, wanted to come to the East End, he got in a taxi cab, said to the guy, can you take me to the East End? And the, the guy went, what? Like he was stunned. And he would he, he kept me meandering, just driving around aimlessly. And in the end, the man that said, listen, take me then. So, so anyway, Bernardo, I think he was in a mission. He said to a kid outside, why don't you go home? Maybe he wasn't being nice. He just said, go home. And uh, the kid said, what home? I haven't got a home. He said, well, what about your mum and dad? He said, I haven't got any. He said, are there more children like you? And he took him to 10, like that. And then he got up some sort of uh, benefactor, philanthropist type person with him, maybe a week later or the next day. Took him down to a part of London that I'm very familiar with, a street. And they stand there, just off the cuff. It's not an isolated. Like 73 urchins, that's the only way to describe them. Like orphaned. Think, I mean, think Oliver Twist. But then adds a lot of not Disney type, you know, like, yeah, starving, feral, malnourished, disease ridden, non educated, street smart, wicks. And he found 73 of them just without trying, just off, just tripped over them. Basically, they was all under a tarpaulin, slimy, you know, there was cholera stuff there, and there was just all manner of disease and stuff and within that environment uh, the East End has a long tradition what with the sailors coming in as well they're known for their genteel manners as you know so yeah swearing is when they when it says curse words in the bible to cut social uh, I'm not cursing anyone and to be fair twat no it's not a curse I mean he's already one I'm not invoking the possibility that he may become one in my estimation he was a I was going to say another yeah curse words are not necessarily used as curses where I where hundreds of years of my family have resided in in dire sometimes uh, poverty ridden circumstances but I do love uh, London and I love the East End but I love London more when I'm just coming back to London like because it seems a little bit less not London less than one thing, but you know when, when you stay for extended months and years at a time with that it's just like it's like the Chinese water torture thing like you just you get inured and, and mired in the in the minutia, darlings when you could be thinking big picture Jesus let's do something that kind of jazz should we go to something sweet? should we go to something sweet? if I, if I just uh, have a little pause in proceedings you want someone else's phone number do you? You're, oh, I thought you yes but have you got a wire because my power bank the wire just is a space no I need to borrow it fully yeah. For one night? <laughs> Listen, I want rental. I don't I know if I do I nightly know. arrangements. Oh, for the, oh, they sell them in Primani. Yeah, four quid. But the queue is also four days worth of, it's like feeding of the 5,000. They're just queuing up for knickers. Sorry, I'm not advertising or disparaging, but queues. They're a very British thing, but there's no need to just... <laughs> Got to up the... That's right. So anyway, I'm walking this way because there's food that way. And when I, what's that a Snickers advert? I'm not myself when I'm hungry. <laughs> and I almost bit off the head of someone who I'd about to wash my mouth out so many times because I thought it, he looked like that other socialist type. Just mm -hmm. I mean, how much does it cost? Bar of soap. Anyway, on those very Christian. <laughs> What I'm saying is, people, I'm going to charge my phone as well a little bit, and then I'm going to come back because because they won't stop me. I always I say that often, and I don't. But there is also a church over there that I want to show you. And there's two horses. Because this is London. They're in the East End, not, but they're normally travellers riding along with a pony and trap. And that is probably rhyming slang for something else. On that bombshell. We were going to do a prayer, weren't we? I feel like I need to eat first, otherwise. I mean, obviously, constant prayer, but I don't want to. <laughs>
have this uh, bad taste in my brain, if you know what I mean. Right, lovely looks. Some of you for fun, some of you commanded. I just got Blake by Hashib, that's nice. He's using dark glasses, maybe he thinks I don't recognise him. Oh, a short on a carpet today. But there you go. Right, anyway, let me come off this phone so that I can save my uh, <coughs> battery and I shall return forthwith, as it were. Uh, yeah, that's the love. She can't put the phone down, she just cannot. I've got abandonment issues, I just find it difficult to end videos. I'm going to press the first one. That's done. And now it says, Do you want to? Are you sure you want to? So I'm going to say, Okay. Woo! Nearly got one over. Right, lots of love. See you in a bit shortly. Ciao. Uh, mm, yes. Where's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm going to some concert. <laughs> <laughs>